world, we operate under this fallacy, this complete fallacy of a meritocracy. We're told like anybody can become a millionaire if you have a great idea and you work really, really hard and you have good people around you, you can be the next Bill Gates. I'm telling you for a fact, that's bullshit. And Kim.com is a classic example of that. Kim.com had great ideas and great people and built amazing products that everybody liked and hundreds of millions of people were using and was consuming 4% of global internet traffic. And what happened to Kim.com? Ah, oh, hello. His house was raided by a hundred armed police with helicopters and attack dogs. And he's now been through seven years of litigation and they're attempting to extradite him. Where, do, where are they attempting to extradite him to? They're attempting to extradite him to the Eastern District Court of Virginia, which is the same court that prosecuted John Kiriakou that is trying to extradite and prosecute Julian Assange and that wants to prosecute Edward Snowden. So why is he being um, prosecuted in the Eastern District Court of Virginia? Apparently for copyright infringement. Copyright infringement is a civil offence and not a criminal offence. And yet his home is raided. All of his personal belongings are seized. His business is forcibly shut down. The FBI seized his domains and his websites. All of his customer data was erased from the face of this earth. And he has been relentlessly persecuted and smeared in the media. Why? Because the meritocracy does not exist. Because Kim.com was supporting WikiLeaks, Kim.com took a stand against the intelligence agencies and would not capitulate and allow his business to be run by them. And as a result, he became a target of them. And this is what happens at all levels of technological development. If your project shows any promise or, or any significance, you will either be bought out or you will be destroyed.